And if any of you have listened to my other show AIDS, on AIDS is Living, we actually brought on Orange Theory. Actually, no, we brought it on Social Universe. We brought we brought Social Universe uh, interviewed Orange Theory. And so if you get into that 80% of what your target heart rate should be, that's when not only are you burning the most calories while you are working out, but it is also um, burning the most calories after you work out. And what I found is, is that when I, this is why I love running the mountains. And I'm, I, you know what, I'm just telling all kinds of personal things that I'm hoping some of you can glean. I want to tie into our previous part of the show, which is the better person you become, the more it comes out in what you do in the social media, because social media is a true reflection of who you really are. So the better person you become, the better person you're being, you're reflecting inside of the social media. If you, I, I have talked to so many people that have said, I would have dealt and done business with that company, but when I went on their social media and I looked in their Facebook, I saw, uh, I mean, I, I have been amazed at how bitter the feelings have come out when people have said, all I saw was a party animal with beer in the air, with, and I know he's married and he had his arm around all these cute girls. That, you know, that was something that was, a, you know, a bitter reflection and they lost business. Rather, social media is supposed to help you gain business. And if you're out there showing a lifestyle of wild partying, unless, of course, that's your image, right? I mean, if you're, if you, uh, uh, Access Radius is now out of business. So, I mean, they, they, it's not that it went out of business. They, they, the creators actually just uh, morphed it into a different business. But in the old days, Access Radius was a, a, a party, a, a um, a party place for for Arizona State University, the party university. So, you know, if you're the creator of Axis Radius and, and you the students need want to know that this middle-aged guy knows how to party just as hard as they do, okay, fair enough. You know, go out there and do it. Um, or if you run a promotional modeling company and, you know, you're out there being crazy, okay, it is what it is. But if that's not your business, don't act like it's your business. <laughs> Instead, show somebody who you want to show and reflect in Facebook and in Pinterest um, and in and Instagram and on, on LinkedIn, especially because that's for the, for the professionals, you want to project a professional image. So there's no better way to create a professional image than actually becoming that person that you really want to become. And I'm not telling you who that has to be. Only you can determine what you, what kind of character you want to have. But your your internal compass needs to be. Um, projected on your daily activities using my job chart and then you can actually talk about the things kind of like I'm really proud of the fact that I was able to have wonderful family home evening with my boys last night it was so amazing I mean, to, to lie on the lawn yeah it was just in our backyard we weren't camping or anything but it was like a little mini two-hour camp out and you know you lie on the lawn look up at the stars and talk about what it means to be a manly man you know, that is something that is going to be indelibly imprinted. Um, and we actually, um, we have fun as a family as well. So there was a couple of internal jokes that we <laughs> talked about that uh, both, uh, you know, the whole family agreed that these, in in these inside jokes that we have will probably last for the next 20 years. And they'll all remember this one family home evening when that, when that particular internal joke uh, uh, began. So inside joke began. So anyway, that's part of the social media is actually being and becoming the person you want to project. Now, the second half of that is don't project somebody you're not. There's so much faux going on out there. So you're being the faux gangsta. You're being the, the faux rocker. You're being, you know, you want to show that you're at every, you know, that uh, Megadeth is coming to Arizona State Fair. And, you know, you remember the days when you were out there with Megadeth 20 years ago. Um, and it's been that long. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, Metallica, whatever. But Megadeth is actually coming in. That's why I used the example. And those guys, I actually just watched a... a um, uh, a documentary on them. I I did not realize when they talked about the image, especially at that time of the rock bands that just literally. I don't think they ever ate anything. They just ate heroin, um, and that was about all that happened for about six years straight. Went in and out of rehab fifteen different times, and they lost major opportunities because even their lifestyle. It wasn't that they were faux rockers they were rockers to the core and nearly literally nearly killed themselves and one of them actually did uh, you know his liver just completely gave out so the point is is that you want to become 
who you want to become, even if it's Megadeth, you know, I'm sure that he actually did. His goal was to, to break every law known to man. And that was, that was what he, they actually made that commitment. And he became that, and it actually may help them become the, what is debatably the second best mega, uh, you know, uh, 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 speed metal band out there. Metallica, I think everybody knows, is considered number one, and then Megadeth is number two, Anthrax, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, but the point is, is that they created their image. Okay, fine, that's good for them. But even they had to realize that who they were, who they really were, versus the image they were projecting, they could have been less of who they were and had a better image projected of who they were. And survive longer, and and uh, it still eats the the lead singer of Megadeth to this day. That that Metallica became the number one band uh, over him. He hates that. So the point is, is that you don't want to get stuck by not being able to develop those character traits that allow you to have the longevity to then have a great character. Uh, representation of yourself. So if you're not Megadeth, then also make sure that you have your business represented in what you feel would be the best way uh, to reflect good business on your business. So that's kind of the message of today. So go back to my job chart, create those, and then mark those off. Have very friendly competitions. Uh, I'm going to compare it to losing weight. In fact, you could put your weight goals inside of my job chart, your exercise goals, that kind of thing. And then you can have a contest. But the nice thing about my job chart is it isn't just centered around weight. It's all aspects. So then you can actually have, under one account, you can have, even if it isn't a family, you can have your friends get together and you have points where you actually have character development throughout that week and at the end of the week, you know, everybody could be throwing in 25 bucks and, you know, if you, if you have 10 people, the winner gets $250. And if it's all around character development, now you don't have to go running in and check and see if somebody's lying, because if they're lying, of course, they're going to get kicked out of the group based on bad character, right? So anyway, I, I um, so what I'm really saying is you want to go into my job chart. Dot com create yourself an account whether it's for your family for your friends your loved ones um, it, whether it, you're doing your weight loss goals whether you're doing character development goals I would suggest character development goals because over time that's going to make you a better professional tying into what DJ and Elaine were saying earlier so when we it's like we're getting a little bit close to break I want to uh, spend a little bit of time on gqs.com which is a little bit like my job chart, but GQs allows you to put all the different roles and goals. I would refer you to either GTD, Get Things Done, um, or to uh, Stephen Covey, uh, who is the creator of the Franklin Covey Institute, um, and I would recommend going in there and learning, the uh, kind of reviewing the seven habits of highly effective people. They talk about roles and goals, putting your roles and goals, and then uh, in, in uh, GQs.com, it is $25 a year, whereas my job chart is free, okay? but uh, in uh, my job chart is, are, is a great way to have those recurring daily tasks that you know that you need to do every day to have great character. Um, then on GQs.com, um, you pay $25 a year, and now it's a project management software where you project manage your life. So then you put in your role as a husband, your role as a wife, your role as a, a, a child, your role as a student, your role in, as a, uh, in your career, your role as a citizen, your role as a community member, your role as a neighbor, and then you make all you make sure you start putting in those to do's to become that person you want to be. So, it, the it, kind of the way I look at the difference between the two to summarize this seg segment of the show is that my jobchart.com is social media for personal character development, the recurring daily tasks that make you become the character, have the character that you really want to have. Then you go into gqs.com and those are the things that are varying, that, that get you to where you want to go now that you have a great character. And I would suggest putting into gqs.com the to-do item to take pictures um, and develop out your social media based on the good character that you are rather than just when you happen to have the bottoms up, uh, up in the air. So um, that is the conclusion of this show. Um, those are two parts of the social media I would love to recommend. When I come back, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, SEO changes in search engine optimization and how you know you can incorporate social media and search engine optimization together. Again, thanks for tuning in to The Social Universe here on World Talk Radio and Voice America. This is Kurt Wilhelm, your host of the show, and we'll be right back after the break. Don't go away.